Okay, <laughs> if you think ramen is good, wait until you try this. We're making the perfect noodle dish for spring. And this recipe is straight out of Ronnie Wu's new cookbook, did you eat yet? Did you eat And yet? Ronnie, first of all, I'm shocked that this is your first cookbook. It is my first cookbook. Congratulations. Thank you. How does it feel? It feels amazing. I mean, yeah. I feel like it's been in the works for like 10 years. Yeah. But it's exactly the book that I want to make. And That's I just, great. Yeah, and I just like love it so much because all the recipes span from like breakfast to dessert. And a lot of people think because I'm in shape or an ex model that I don't really know about food. But I'm like, no, trust me, I know about food. You are gonna love this book. And the recipes are just like easy to follow, comprehensive, oh. like dependable. Like you can really just create a little arsenal of weekly recipes. I love yes. it. I think you guys are really gonna love um, this. This is a recipe my daughter Mila would be obsessed with because she's obsessed with Robin. Oh my god! Yeah. So you're gonna make this tonight? Then? Yeah, I'm gonna make it or take yours home and serve it. To <laughs> <you>. <laughs> okay, I, like, I like I like. Plan B, that's a good plan. <laughs> I like plan B too. <laughs> Let's right. all do so it. What do we do with the chicken? Okay, so the chicken, the reason I use bone in skin on is because the skin is like a basting. It's like a layer of fat that helps mm -hmm. baste it and keep it moist. And the skin gives you some leeway to keep mm -hmm. it sure. so you don't overcook it. So if you cook it for a few more seconds more, it's still gonna so stay what? really, really yeah. moist. Let it rest for 15 minutes, shred it, keep it in the fridge, use it for whatever so you want. So what'd you do? You just salt it, salt it. A little it bit of salt, put it in the it? oven at that's 375, it? and then let it cook to 165 and just like let it rest. Okay. And that's it. It's okay. really simple. This use is, it for everything. This is the important thing. This is the sauce and I love sauces. The book actually has a whole chapter on sauces because I think sauces really just round out everything mm -hmm. and it's a good dinner saver too. So this one is the sauce for this recipe. We have some tahini here, mm -hmm. which is sesame paste. If you don't have sesame paste, you can use peanut butter, which is a great substitute. Most people have peanut yeah. butter. So it's not like if you can't find totally. sesame paste, don't worry about it. We have soy sauce, mayo. a little bit of mayo. You can leave that out if you don't like it, but I love mayo and everything. Okay. We have some miso paste. You can use white, yellow, or red. If you use red, use it a little less because that's a super intense miso, but okay. the yellow is always my go-to. Okay, that's good to know. Chili flakes, chili, yeah. fresh chili flakes gives a little bit of heat. Ginger, really good flavor, a little subtle warmth, and then you also get like that honey. little spice. Yep, and honey is a mm. sweetener here. Use little or use little as much as you want. Use maple syrup if you don't have honey. This is olive oil. We're gonna add. Go yep, yeah, we're gonna go in there too because olive oil is good for you, good for your health, and it just adds a little bit more fat. All that. Yep, yeah, you can use oh, as wow. much. You can use a toasted sesame oil too, but I like using the olive oil. We're kind of making like a dressing here as well, so you can use it for salads as well. This oh, is really yum. good on like an iceberg yeah. or something like that. The water is just to loosen it, thicken, like to keep it a little bit. Thicker if you Looks want yummy. it, but use some water. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is cook some ramen. So I like using fresh ramen. You find this in the refrigerated okay. section. Yes. If you cannot find it for the life of you, which is gonna be hard, if you can't, just use the instant stuff. Just okay. leave out the seasoning packet because yeah. that's super salty. We're gonna just put it in boiling water and just we're really, with the fresh ramen, all you're really doing is kind of blanching it in a way because you're not gonna cook it for long. You're just waiting for it to get tender and you're gonna okay. cook it through because it's still so, made. So how long? a minute or two? Or? Um, depends on the package. Every package okay. is different. Just read, read the directions. The but I always cook it a little bit less, like a minute or two, like a minute or two less simply because okay. I like it chewy. You know, yeah. you really just want to get it cooked. And the next is, this is key, a trick. right? Yeah. This so if you're making trick. any sort of chilled pasta, we were talking about this earlier, you can put, if you use chilled pasta, put it in some ice water. Wow. And then massage it a little bit. So you want to separate the strands because you want them to really just be separate. Because if they sit. Otherwise it's clumps. It, clumps. Yeah, exactly. Clumps. It clumps together. Mm -hmm. But this is only when you're using chilled pasta. Okay. You know what I mean? But you can do it with any kind of pasta. Afterwards. And then you just take it out and put it in a bowl, right? Exactly. Yeah. You strain okay. it. You can you can even just go straight into a bowl. Okay. And then we're going to add that sauce. We have that sauce. We also have the pre made sauce Ooh, here. That and then so it's kind of creamy. It's very creamy. And again, if your sauce is too thick, just add a little bit of water, water. because there's so much yeah. flavor. You don't have to worry about watering mm -hmm. it down. We're going to add some matchstick cucumbers or cucumbers, just cut them to thin sticks. This is obviously done by Katie, who is a pro. Yeah, wow. If you can't get them this thin, don't we worry know. about it. Shred the chicken, add the chicken. And you can use any and protein, you, right? yeah. whatever you want. Tofu, yeah. you can I use shrimp, yeah. anything. But the great thing about this recipe is that it's great if you make it the night of, but you can hold up for like one to two Could nights. Could you do this hot too, or it's really <laughs> Absolutely, cold. no, 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 you can do this hot. It's absolutely delicious. And then what you're gonna do is just plate it up. And I like to garnish it with some toasted sesame seeds, just because I think it adds a little bit more nuttiness. Mm -hmm. You can add some more like chilled crushed rep uh, mm. red pepper flakes, because that adds a little bit more heat if you mm. like heat. Add sriracha, add whatever. Mm. But great for like, great packet for your kids for mm, lunch. Yeah. You know, this is one of those recipes that are just like mm. great for your weekly arsenal of recipes, it's and such, that's the book. It has mm, so many It defines comfort recipes. food, this right here. Right? Mm -hmm. I feel good. It's mm -hmm. so good, and it's healthy, and it's just, like, really nutritious and hearty. And you're Delicious. Just like, and it just holds in the fridge for a really long time. Well, I'm so happy for your first cookbook. Thank Way to go, you. Ronnie. I'm super good excited job. about it. Congratulations. To get Thank that you. recipe and his new cookbook, go to today.com slash food. The cookbook, again, is called did, did you, you eat, eat yet? yet? Brilliant title, the by the way. The luckily for us, we did. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you, thank you. Thank you.